I just want to request Deepak to please come and take over. And I also want to uh, say one more thing to all the people who are sharing their experiences that we are here to listen. We want to listen to you for hours if you want to speak. So please do not hesitate about how much time you are taking. Please open your hearts and share um, everything. And it gives all of us courage uh, to listen to each other. So uh, please speak without any hesitation about time. Red Tipat Ko Jai Bhim Lal Salam! Jai Bhim Lal Salam! So, uh, first of all, I really want to thank all of you all together here. All of the people uh, who are outside the jail helping us, the civil society, the people who opened up their houses for us, people who provided uh, food, food in the jail here, people who provided through here. Everyone, I want to thank them. And, you know, when this crisis situation happens, uh, then we know what you know really matters and how which people really help you. So, so and and we are we are very happy when when we are inside jail because we are getting information about uh, you know helping uh, offered from all over the nation, all over the, the civil society, the all political parties. Without like we we so we all automatically you know forego their uh, some of the ideological difference we had with their political parties and we accepted their help because we needed that and that really helped also. So uh, I think uh, I, I do not want, I need to speak much about the violence, the physical violence and brutality that happened because I think that's narrated too and that was not the best part of the week also. So we would uh, skip that and we would also, I would also talk some other stuff which really gave the positive energy for all of us and you also. So, uh, so I, I will just narrate how I was picked up. So, uh, I was in the near the uh, humanities block shooting. Okay. So, the van was, they were taking away people in the van. So, I was shooting. I just didn't think that 30 seconds later the same thing was going to happen. And they took it away, took me away from behind. And then, then the violence happened in the bus. They called all the abuses and you uh, really must have heard. And uh, so th that was the physical violence of the, uh, physical violence they did. Then after coming back, after coming back from the jail, uh, then only I realized what like uh, what mentally how they violated us, how terrified they made us. Because uh, I heard what happened to what happened in the campus. In, on 22nd and 23rd, clearly. So, what they did in the shop com, and all I, I heard the narrations, and that was, I think, more terrifying than what we had in jail. Because jail, even with all its hierarchies and all the uh, caste group happening there also, jail is more drama democratic, and I just feel that it's more democratic than what, what has become of this universe. <coughs> then, then, we talk about many violence. Uh, like physical violence, the violence of the state missionary, the police violence. But we like sometimes uh, leave out this violence of bureaucracy which, uh, which we have built up. So, uh, so we have, I don't know, we have evolved into such a society where we have made it so, the bureaucracy, the system is so complicated that we can't ask any questions and we, we, got, we can't expect any answers to it. So everyone we ask, every constable we are talking to, everyone we ask, then they are, they are not deciding, they are not deciding our fate. So they say it's our officers, we, the orders come from there, like, and it never ends. And I believe that the top official might be thinking, uh, might be, you might be thinking that the lower officials might be taking care of it, and, and it's a loop and nobody cares what's happening and they just take random decisions. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, and the, uh, so now they are, uh, they have decided to bring, so now they are uh, decided to bring CISF and, you know, army kind of thing into the campus, so, uh, so, so when, so they, they really, they really are scared of us and they really treat this as some kind of border or something, national border or something, they are really scared of us, so, but, uh, so it, it actually, it's funny when, like, what will be the use of army here, we will ask, what would be the use of army here. So they will be answering the same question, like, now we ask, like, when we ask the 
when we question their notions of uh, na na nation here, uh, they say that our jawans are fighting in the borders for us, they are uh, stopping the terrorists, so we, for them we should accept the nation. And now the same thing will happen to them. Some jawan in like Kashmir or Northeast, when he asks about the violence to these officials, these officials, they'll be answered the same thing. Uh, your brothers are fighting students in universities, and they are fighting, uh, you know, they are stopping them to, and to get out of the university, so you really should care about So for them, we should fight for them. That would be the, I think that would be the, and so, yeah, really happy to be back and uh, uh, I am very proud to be part of this and this uh, is over. Uh, the last week made me realize how little I could do before this struggle and how much we have to do. And we have to take care that uh, the end semester and the uh, breaks coming in between could not halt this struggle and uh, we will get an answer when we get this is from Jeff in our